Hi everyone! Welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and I have a very special guest with me today. Gia. It's Gia! She and I are going to be reading a really fun story for you today. It's called Scribble Stones and it was written and illustrated by Diane Albert. Thank you so much, Diane, for giving us permission to share your book today. And I love the cover. Do you see all these stones that have been painted and decorated? Have you ever collected a stone or a rock and decorated it? I, I have, and this is the one I made. How pretty is that? You painted a hot air balloon. Very creative. Well, this story is about a fun and happy little stone and he goes on quite an adventure, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens. Let's read. Scribble Stones, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Look at all these happy stones. They're hearts. I think those are mountains and a sun and a star. I too. like this guy. He's really happy. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others, all stacked in a pile, and waited calmly with a large, friendly smile. He's on the top right here. That's him. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping. And some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be the hardest part was just waiting to see. Have you ever heard of a pet stone or a pet yeah, rock before? they used to be very popular back then. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one. But his happy face slowly turned to a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. He looks very sad being alone. Hmm? Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. He looks very happy here. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great! But he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. Hmm. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. What is going on? Look, there's red, blue, yellow, and another red. Lots of colors. Mm -hmm. They were headed right toward the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast, Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. That does look like some really fun artwork. It's really fun where you just scribble and just paint splat whatever you want or when you're painting or drawing. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. Well, there's the pile growing taller and taller. We knew that this pile was getting too tall. There is no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Oh boy, he's got tears in his eyes. And so does he. Which one's your favorite color here in these oh, four? Oh, I think red. I feel for you, Red. Let's see what's going to happen. Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they all could try. Oh, he's got an idea. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. 
I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? Don't forget green as well. <laughs> Don't forget green. They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. Look, they've all added their colors to the this, stone. This is all a poem because they cause start and heart and blue and hue all rhyme. They rhyme. You're right, Gia. Have you noticed all the rhyming words? It didn't take long before more stones showed up, and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. Everybody's lining up to get painted. That one has yellow spots, that one has like green spots here, and then a bit of green here. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added, and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Oh, he looks so happy. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part. Sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. I like that. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a... A bunch of stones a, traveling the world. That's right, a map of the earth. With each new layer, there was a story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now, thousands of stones inspire creativity each day. All because of a paperweight with a will and a way. Now look at this pile of happy, colorful stones. Look, this one has a, it looks like a daisy. Uh-huh. So many different colors and shades. But of course, the happiest of them all, right here. Stone. Scribble Stone Art Project. Scribble stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaborative art. Collaborative means working together. How it works. Find a stone and add some art. A scribble, a splatter, or a happiness heart. Then give it away and let someone know that this scribble stone makes happiness grow. It's so very simple and easy to do. Just add some more art and give it away too. That is a lovely idea. The end. <laughs> wow, that was a great story. Did you like it? Yeah. I did too. He was a very creative little stone, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. He wasn't happy being a paperweight. That was too boring for him. Yeah, he wanted some creativity. He wanted some creativity in his life. And so he covered himself in splatters and colors. And then soon, all the other stones and rocks were joining in, weren't they? And then they started traveling the world, passing on to Yes! People. That was such a great idea. I love this idea of painting a rock and then giving it to somebody, and then that person has to decorate it and pass it along. And that way we are kind of spreading happiness and joy around the world. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, if you would like to know more about Diane Albers books or maybe a link to buy this book, check the description below. And I would love to know if you have decorated any stones. You can join me at my book club on Facebook. It's called Storytime with Michelle Book Club. And maybe if you've painted a rock like Gia's, you can take a picture of it and share it with me. I'd love to see them. So head on over to Facebook and join the book club, share your thoughts, and be sure to give a thumbs up and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, happy readings.